Hi guys, this is Dr. Frajana. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Like always, it's such an honor to connect with you. Today, I want to talk about how to stop overreacting and how to not get into negative drains. As I continuously mention, there has been a normalization in society on just overwhelm, right? Being in rushed mode, being in pressured mode, right? And we start relating in this way now and start living in this way. So how can we stop, how can we stop overreacting and how can we decrease the negative drains in our lives, right? So number one, remind yourself, winners don't even get into negative drains to begin with. Winners don't get into negative drains to begin with. It's a specific strategy that you can use is weekly. What is working for me? What is not working for me? And whatever is not working for you, just change it. Come up with solutions. Again, you can do this intermittently where you just stop and say, hey, what is working for me? And what is not working for me? Right? When you make decisions, make sure that this isn't just a this is just this isn't a, an activity that's going to bring negative negativity into your life, right? Just don't go, don't attend the event, right? Uh, if you're having guests over, and if you think it's too much, if it's going to be overwhelming for you, go eat at a restaurant instead instead of hosting at your house. Again, winners don't get into negative drains to begin with, right? Next, stop overreacting. It's just simple as that. Stop overreacting. A simple technique that I use that helps me is I tell myself, I don't want to be like a, a cave dweller. Think about people that use like pe cavemen. They, you just come out and you're like, ah! Picture yourself acting like a cave dweller when you start overreacting. And that will help you not overreact. So stop overreacting. It's just simple as that. A quick, simple technique you can uh, utilize is picture yourself as a cave dweller and you don't want to look like that, Right? Winners do not act like cave dwellers. Next, don't look for imaginary predators. Again, there's this normalization of focusing on problems, right? Focusing on uh, drama, <laughs> like what's wrong? You know, the supervisors are out to get me or, you know, you know he said this or she said that and, and uh, you know, they left me out and he included, excluded me and she did that. No, stop, look, don't look for imaginary predators. Don't live in that oh no state. Next, view stress as normal. Stress is part of life. Mishaps are part of life, right? Just like blessings are part of life, mishaps and stress are part of life. So see it as normal and just actually uh, take on the challenge. Like, yeah, challenges are part of life. Challenges make life better, right? So like, once you do that, you don't give it so much power, right? You don't give stress and mishaps so much power. You're like, oh, part of the universe. Yeah, part of the universe, <laughs> right? Also remind yourself that unsuccessful people cultivate or ruminate over failures. They ruminate over the past. So remind yourself of that as well. So as you start getting into that, those, that th thought pattern, right? That feeling in your body. Remind yourself like, hey, wait, 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 wait. Only an unsuccessful people cultivate early seeds of, you know, early seeds or the past failures. I'm not going to, you know, live there anymore. I'm not going to live there anymore. Let, next, think about all the potential and abundance you have. Think about all the potential and abundance you have in your life and really sit there and meditate on it like take a a minute or two just to really appreciate it and last <clears throat> feed your feed your your mind with detailed successful performances so i want you to seriously sit here right now and list all the success all your all your successes meaning all your successful performances like in detail I'm not talking about, oh, yeah, I finished my doctorate or I finished my master's. I have this. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about where you were successful because you worked through it really hard, right? And you persevered. 
right? Like your decision making, a decision that everybody was against and you, you just went ahead and did it and you listened to yourself because you knew that was the right decision. That's a detailed, successful performance, right? So I want you to sit there and list at least, you know, five to 10 things that you've been successful in. All right, guys? And see how you start, you stop overreacting to things because you know that stress is part of life, right? You, you don't get into negative drains to begin with because you know where that can lead you. <laughs> You're able to play the movie more. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. You guys are amazing. You guys rock. Uh, continue do, to do it. Continue growing. Continue reflecting on yourself because your life will only get better this way. All right, guys, take care of yourself. Bye.